Hello, wisdom seekers, and welcome back to my channel. This is a brand new series that I've started primarily because of your requests over the last couple of years. I've been asked, how do you actually use the crystal? Like, like the practical instructions of how you use the gemstone for the crystal wisdom benefits that I've described in many of my videos over the last couple of years. And this series is going to walk you step by step how to use a particular gemstone for a particular benefit in your life. Each gemstone will have four parts, four videos, one for each of the crystal wisdom benefits that I've described in my previous videos. This month, we're going to focus on how to use amethyst to improve your life. I'll be, this four part series will be in four videos so that I'm not cramming four different practices into one really long video. You'll receive one practice each week. So each month we'll be focusing on a specific gemstone. The one that I've selected for April, of course, is amethyst. Amethyst is a stone that stimulates the third eye chakra. It helps us get in touch with our sense of intuition and inner wisdom. It helps us to cultivate wisdom in our life by enabling us to access our intuitive voice and our intellectual wisdom to combine them both into a holistic sense of overall wisdom in our lives. If you haven't already seen the video, the top four crystal wisdom benefits of amethyst, then I'll put a link to that in the description box below or in the eye above so that you can get an overall feel for the qualities that we'll be studying this month. But in summary, amethyst does help you improve and deepen your meditation. It helps you access and strengthen your sense of intuition. It helps to promote good, healthy sleep and ward off nightmares. And it also helps you to release cravings, addictions, and attachments. And we'll be focusing on all of those properties this month. So how do you begin? First, you'll need a piece of amethyst. I highly recommend having it with you to go through each of these practices. In this video in particular, we'll be focusing on using amethyst to improve your meditation experience. So what you'll need is your piece of amethyst, holding it in your non-dominant hand. This is your receiving hand and will help you receive the benefits for this meditation. And then you need a comfortable seat and it could be on a cushion on the floor, in a chair, wherever you feel comfortable spending several minutes starting your meditation. Now, how can you use this? You can use this all on its own as a breathing focused meditation, or you can use this practice to start a different type of meditation. So I know that was a really long intro for this video, but I really wanted to explain the intention of this series going forward. But in the future, I'll put a link to where the meditation starts in the description box below. You can go right to the practice. So using amethyst to improve meditation. So meditation can be a challenge for people. Even experienced meditators have days in which they feel like they can't sit still, they can't settle, their mind is really busy, that they can't focus on their breathing or, or whatever their meditation focus object is for you know more than a few seconds. And that's totally normal. Like really, meditation is not an easy practice. So if you feel like you've been trying and it doesn't work, don't feel like you're a failure, it's not easy. With this practice, 
I'll help you channel amethyst to relax your body, to settle your mind and help you settle within so that you can meditate more comfortably and effectively. So if you have your amethyst in your comfortable seat, then let's begin. I invite you to close your eyes and start taking some slow, deep breaths. And your amethyst should be in your non-dominant hand. So as you breathe, Allow your awareness, your focus to settle within your body. And gently observe your breath as you inhale and exhale. Notice how your body expands as you inhale and relaxes as you exhale. And watch this breathing for 10 breaths. If you find yourself thinking about something else rather than your breathing, then just gently draw your attention back to your breathing. It's okay. Then watch Experience the sensation of the breath as it enters and exits your esophagus, your breathing canal. Watching for 10 breaths. Again, if you drift, then gently come back to looking at your breathing. That really is the practice of meditation, to notice when you've drifted and to non-critically, non-judgmentally come back to your focus. And then again, Watch the sensation of breath as it enters and exits your nostrils. And we'll watch this for 10 breaths.
this point, you could transition into a different type of meditation. You could finish the meditation right now and just have a, a brief session. Short meditation sessions are actually rather healthy when we focus for just a short period of time. Or you could repeat these cycles of breathing one or two more times as you watch your body as your breathing expands and relaxes your body, watching the sensation of the air in your esophagus and watching the sensations of your breathing through your nostrils. All of these are wonderful ways to experience using amethyst in your everyday life. So let's take a couple more slow, deep breaths. And when you feel ready, then open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me to today to learn how to work with amethyst. If you're born in February, you may find these really powerful experiences as that is your birthstone. In the next three videos, in this order, I'll be showing you how to use amethyst to access and strengthen your intuition, to help promote healthy sleep, and then how to release cravings and attachments. I look forward to working with you deeply, this deep dive with amethyst. And if there is a gemstone that you would like me to do a deep dive on, then put a comment in the comment box below and I can move that gemstone up the list. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week for part two.